Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm reviewing Dime, which is a wine. Yeah, anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is the 2018 Dime Red Wine Blend. It's from Santa Barbara County, California. It is 13.6% alcohol by volume, and is 65% Cabernet Sauvignon, 25% Merlot, and uh, I don't know how much this goes for at the store because it was given to me from a friend because they know I do wine on the dime, and, um, it had the word dime and it was wine, so she thought it would be a great thing to review on the channel. So thank you, Christine. Uh, anyway, uh, let's take a look at this wine. So in keeping with the overall black aesthetic of this wine, um, like the super dark glass, uh, it also has a black cork. Totally synthetic. Um, I don't know why they decided to go with black. Maybe they just wanted to keep the whole theme the same way. Um, hopefully I pour the wine and it's not black. Oh, look at that, you're actually wine colored. That scared me for a moment. If I poured it and it was black, then uh, we might have had a problem here. So let's take a look at the actual color of this wine. Let me move all this crap out of the way. Uh, this is a dark ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. So in terms of the nose, medium intensity on the nose. Oh, hey, I remember to do it in the actual correct section this time instead of forgetting to tell you during the nose and doing it on the palate. So I have learned, it only took like 821 episodes for me to figure out how to do this properly. Anyway, medium on the nose. Um, lots of kind of jammy blackberry and black currant. There's a little bit of a raspberry note, a touch, like a touch of cranberry. There's also vanilla, like a, a reasonable amount of vanilla. And there's also just a touch, just a touch of uh, brown butter. Ah, but how does it taste? Medium plus on the palate, uh, I can't talk. The tannins hit me right then and there. Hold on. All right, so now that I've kind of flushed my palate out and I can talk again, uh, medium body, medium plus tannins, medium, uh, acid it's it's i mean it's not too acidic but it does have some there uh i would say it's off dry in terms of its uh sweetness profile off dry actually kind of starting to even go towards medium dry like it actually has a reasonable amount of residual sugar on the palate which also was kind of gumming up my mouth whenever i was going through with all those harsh tannins and and just sugar and not a ton of acid it all kind of like made it like a little bit of like a tannic glue in my mouth. So in terms of the finish, it's gonna depend. If you're someone who is kind of more on the side of like having like kind of a, a vanilla-y finish, uh, it's probably gonna be medium plus. Uh, if you're someone who's looking more for like that jammy fruit finish, it's gonna be more on the medium side. So it's medium to medium to plus depending on what you're looking for. Um, in terms of intensity on the palate, medium plus intensity on the palate. Uh, the real thing there is that they, these, the actual wine kind of diverts its path in how it shows up. So the way that this wine kind of operates on the palate is like a sine wave and a, yeah, a sine wave and a cosine wave. So you have a, a sine wave, so you get this fruit and then it kind of tapers off and then it kind of comes back into the finish and then starts tapering off near the end of the finish. Whereas the vanilla aspect of it kind of in that butteriness kind of isn't there on the approach then it kind of shows up more on the mid palette and then as the finish starts it kind of goes away and then it kind of comes back again so they're kind of doing this weird thing both are there they're just not something you really experience much at the exact same time that was i probably could have just said it like that so in terms of describing the wine that's pretty much it but how does it rate we have to get to the blick. So from a balance standpoint, I'm gonna give this half a point. This wine needs acid. This wine needs more acid because it is off dry. Um, it does have a reasonable amount of tannic structure. Um, and because it is, it has these kind of heavy tannin elements within the body, or I would say medium plus tannins, not heavy tannins, but like medium plus tannins. And that off dry, element, but with more, more of like a medium plus body as well, then I would say like it needs that acid to kind of like allow everything to really kind of sit. So like if this was medium plus acid or even better yet high acid, because I love high acid wines, 
But if, even if it was medium plus, it would be more integrated. It's not quite there. It feels a little cloying. So I'm going to go ahead and give you half a point. Uh, in terms of length, like I said, depends on what you want, but at least it's medium to medium plus. So I'm going to give you half a point. In terms of intensity, medium on the nose, medium on the palate, so half a point. And in terms of complexity, I am getting some some like dark fruit notes uh, with a little hint of raspberry. So I guess you can call it like a red fruit note, but it's not too much. Um, and then on top of that, I'm getting this kind of browned butter and vanilla, but the browned butter isn't necessarily totally there. Like it's not super intense. It's more intense on the nose than it is on the palate. The vanilla is pretty intense on both in terms of secondary, but there's not... Mm, there's not like a developed secondary characteristic to this wine. And I'm just getting the mostly dark fruit notes, a few dark fruit notes. It's not even a wide breadth of dark fruit. Um, so in terms of complexity, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna give you half point. I'll give you half point because there are some secondary and primary, but no, I'm not gonna do that either. I'm gonna give you 0.25. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invoke that new scoring system, 0.25 points for this. So in the end, well now I have to do math, damn it. Okay, so in the end, you're in between okay and good. I think what I'm going to do is you're, I mean, you're leaning towards good, but I don't feel like you should be good because of the acid balance and like that over pronounced vanilla note. So what I'm gonna say is for me personally, it's okay. If you're a fan of a little bit of a sweeter red wine uh, that also has a reasonable amount of vanilla, this is a good wine. I'm gonna go ahead and give you both just because it depends on your personal preference. So you're somewhere in between there. Um, but if I was on doing a W set level three of this, I would actually say it's probably closer to being more of like a simple red wine in terms of the fact that I'm only getting a few dark fruit characteristics that are really dominant and a vanilla note. Um, but I mean, like I said, that's just me. You can let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. Most of y'all do anyway when I am. I'm okay with it. Anyway, this is Mr. Stewart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Dime Red Wine Blend from Wink? Yeah, that's who makes it Wink. I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime.